You know, the season hasn't gone quite the way I'd, I'd hoped it would, but I still feel in some ways actually more confident heading into the Ivy League Championships that we can have maybe our best Hebs yet. Uh, it's a really good group of hardworking guys that are determined and uh, really focused on achieving something special. So uh, things definitely got off to a little bit of a bumpy start over at HYP, but in some ways it was a great learning experience and a great uh, motivator for us not to rest on our laurels or to think that just because we have so many talented guys coming back that it's just going to be handed to us. So uh, I'm, I'm pumped and looking forward to this weekend by the future. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's up to them on the day to, to sort that out. And obviously, we've got some great returners. Um, Tom Pinnell is one of the top returners in the entire Heps. Uh, so looking forward to, to seeing him up there. Um, but we have a, a great kind of core nucleus of guys back from, from last year's uh, NCAA qualifying team. So I'm looking forward to, to seeing them uh, push each other and, and, and challenge for, for some of the top spots up there. Yeah, I think that's probably one of the most exciting things about um, the Heps this year is just the parity that, that's out there. I don't know that anyone is really separated themselves from, from anyone else. Uh, I think, you know, Princeton is always a perennial favorite and, and clearly you know, they've got a great chance to, to be up there. Columbia is the defending champion, so uh, I'm sure they're not going to be relinquishing the trophy very easily, but you know, Yale showed at HYP that, that they're going to be a real force to be reckoned with, and, and Dartmouth's always a, been a really strong team the last couple of years, so I think it's really wide open. And we've had some really impressive meets. We've had some meets that have been mediocre, um, kind of as is with every cross-country season. I think you have your ups and downs and you try to weather the good races and uh, build upon the, um, you know, the, the positive performances that you have. Um, I think certainly we have a, a strong freshman class. We have seven incoming um, girls on, the, on the, the women's side and we have a really strong senior class as well. We have four or five girls who've been up in our top seven at any point who are seniors. Um, we ran pretty well at the Battle of Beantown meet, which is our meet at home uh, back in September, uh, right behind some highly ranked teams and ahead of some other teams in our region who are pretty strong. But, um, you know, kind of looking forward to HEPs this weekend. We're pretty excited. We have uh, three girls back uh, in our, who should be in our top 10, who have really yet to compete at a high level. Uh, our number one returner from last year, Viviana Hanley, is gonna, gonna race for us, so we're really excited about that. Um, she's been looking great after suffering an injury in the beginning of the season. And then our captain, Jen Guidera, who ran really well, was our number one runner at the Paul Short Invite, who's gonna race for us after missing the Wisconsin meet. And, um, and then Madeline uh, and Kelly, who raced last week at Princeton, just kind of did a workout in the race, her first experience back, is gonna be back in the lineup for us as well. So, um, you know, things have, have gone well from a health perspective now, and we've got our whole team ready and, and uh, gonna step on the line in, in a couple days at Princeton.